How y'all doing today? This is Kyle Jacko right now, checking in from the ATL. Man, I hope you're having a beautiful, amazing, blessed day. Right now, I'm going to have another queen with us right now. You already know, when you see these shirts, when you see this pink shirt, you see this purple shirt, that means I support all queens. I know right now y'all cannot see this queen right now, but I'm bringing you a queen right now that's going to give you knowledge when it comes to exercising your body and exercising your mind and moving forward. And she has so many titles right now. I'm going to let her take it over right now. Miss Crystal Wilson, can you please go ahead and tell these people more about yourself? Yes. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Crystal Wilson, and I am an online trainer, I'm a fitness trainer. I'm a motivator. I'm an inspirator. I am a mom. I'm a wife. I'm an army reservist. And so I do wear a lot of hats. I'm also a published author. I have two businesses. Um, one is, of course, my fitness and nutrition business, Crystal Wilson Fitness. And then I also have the Entrepreneurial Push, which is where I am helping entrepreneurs push through everything that's going on to get those businesses started and to help them write their books. And so that's pretty much um, a summary of what I'm about. Okay. Right now, I know you've been watching these videos. I always have to have a moment of silence for my brother. My brother, Trey, was really big in my life. As I keep on saying every video, long live Trey. Trey was a light in my heart. He always told me to just keep on pushing forward. So right now, I want to do a moment of silence for him and to all the future, all the, all the kings and queens that's fallen, rest in paradise. And I want to let y'all know, just because they're not here with us right now, I want you to always know that they're always looking at it. They are always our guardian angels. Keep on moving the straight way. Keep on just loving God. Keep on loving yourself. But remember, everything that they taught you, you keep on doing it. Just keep on going the right way. So I now want y'all to bow your heads for this moment of silence. Rest in paradise, big bro. Long live Trey. Once again, keep on moving on your straight way. Keep on doing everything you got to do. And keep on just being that amazing king. And just know they watching everything you do. But now, ma'am, I want to ask you a question. When I say the word, when I say the words, strong queen, what comes to your head when I say those words? Strong queen. Well, first and foremost, um, when I think about strong queen, I think about my mom and my sister but I also think about somebody a woman that can just persevere you know as women I was just having a conversation with my sister earlier today and as women we wear so many different hats and we have so many um, different people that may be dependent on us for a lot of different things and so to be strong you really number one um, have to continue to be fulfilled and the way you do that and the way um i do that is by pulling my strength from god and so i believe a strong queen her faith has to be strong her um posture she has to maintain her posture even when the enemy comes at her um you know when things are thrown at her she doesn't get frustrated she remains positive and she knows that people is watching her so she continues to move forward despite all obstacles and so that's pretty much of um, a summary when I think about when I think about a strong queen. Okay. Now I need you to give me two queens that's been in your life to help you get to that strong Crystal Wilson you is right now. <laughs> I want you to give me two queens. I want you to say their name and where they're from. Definitely. Um, definitely would have to be my mother and will also have to be my sister, Shannon. My mother, her name is Besselin Gant. And my sister is Shannon Gant. And my mom, I just thank God for her for just teaching me how to be um, calm and classy, teaching me how to have faith at a young age. And I thank God for my sister um, for just always being supportive, always being in my corner, and always being um, that, that woman that I can actually talk to. And so I would definitely have to, have to say those queens are very... Um, dear to me and, and they they really inspire me a lot okay now it's gonna be time for something what i love to call the wordplay challenge i told you about this you know it's, i'm gonna tell you three words and out of these three words i want you to just say whatever hits your heart about these three words 
Okay. <laughs> you already know your first word has to be fitness. That's your first yes. word. Yes, fitness. So fitness, I think about, um, and what my brand is all about, is I always tell everyone fitness is so much more than how you look and having a nice body. Fitness is your overall health. Fitness is your, um, your skin, what you eat, what you put inside of your body, your mental state. Are you mentally okay? You know, your spiritual, your spiritual state. I think about all of that when I think about fitness, you know, and that just reminds me also um, how the word says, you know, um, you have to really be careful what you put inside your body, you know? And so I really, I really preach that. And I believe that that's what fitness is all about. And it's not, like I said, it's not just about how you look on the outside, but it's about um, what's going on inside of you because, you know, you could be beautiful on the outside, but you might have low self-esteem on the inside or you're depressed on the inside. And so um, that's what I think fitness is all about. I think fitness encompasses all of that. Okay. The next word is going to be journey. Journey. Wow. Journey is, it's a continuous, continuous effort. Um, that's a good word because I always say, Fitness is a journey. Weight loss is a journey. Entrepreneurship is a journey. You know, um, building up your faith is a journey. And when I think about that word, I think about um, staying on the course, you know, staying on the course, um, staying prayed up, staying true to who you are, and just continuing to push through despite whatever comes at you, you know, not giving up, you know, not giving up and not allowing someone to throw you off track or someone to throw you off of your goals. You know, journey um, to me means you, you know, staying focused and staying on task. So that's what I think about when I think about that word. Okay. I'm about to say a word that you have right now, and I know you love this place a lot. Carolina. Pay the picture Car for everybody. Carolina. Wow. Carolina. I was born and raised here. I would say Southern hospitality, um, friendliness, soul food, mm. um, and I think about the Carolina Panthers, Gamecocks. Mm. <laughs> That's what I think about when I think about Carolina. Um, home. Carolina is home to me. So... Okay, so I sent you the playlist of Chapter One Queen series, and you told me you you love watching it. So I want you to pick out one queen from that series. You know, it was four queens. It was Coach CC, it was Queen, it was Jazz, and Doctor Dove. Which one of these queens you want to take out that Queen series and talk about so everybody else can go back and watch? I would have to say Queen. Um, I believe that. She, I, first, I felt like I made a connection with her and we have a lot in common, especially when she talked about the holistic part. You know, I believe that just what she's talked about, about with, the, with COVID and how we really have to um, watch, what we, watch what we're putting inside of our bodies and, you know, being healthy, you know, so important during this time. Um, you know, it's so much deeper than, you know, washing your hands and, and sanitizing, which of course we should do that. But it's also about what, you know, what we are putting inside of our bo bodies, making sure that we are um, eating the right foods, drinking the right things, and just making sure that we have our vitamins and we're being healthy. So I would have to say that um, Queen, she definitely was very inspirational. Okay. Now, since you've been a part of this Chapter 2 Queen series, now you're, you're, you're OG in the game now because it's going to be your first one. <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to get you back for some more series for Chapter 2, and I mean Chapter 3, Chapter 4 next year, and we're going to bring it back again. But what would you like people to learn from the Chapter 2 Queen series that you're on right now? What would you like them to pull away from this? I want people to pull away um, and just see that this is so needed, you know, this is a, a motivational movement and that 
you can learn something from each and every one of these queens. Um, I think as women, and especially, I have to say this about our younger generation and our younger girls, that they need someone that they can look up to and they need people that you can relate to. And so I think um, for them, um, and not, not just for them, but for everybody, but I really love the youth and my heart goes out to, my, to, the, to the youth. But I think that they can learn something from each and every one of these queens on just how to be motivational, you know, how to move forward, how to be healthy, and to just really, you know, see how they are all, um, or we, how we are all supporting each other. Okay. What is a message you want to give to all the queens? Just your message. Question, wisdom, message to yes. all queens. What is your message to them? My message to all the queens is to when you wake up every day to close your eyes just for a second before you wake up and visualize where you want yourself to be. Um, and I feel like that will make your day go so much smoother. You know, when you wake up in the morning, whether and, and your journey that you're on, whether you're on entrepreneurship or whatever you're pursuing, I think if you as a queen stay focused on that, then there's nothing stopping you. You know, keep pushing and keep going. I know you always hear people say that, but what that looks like to me. And what I want to say to all the queens is how you keep pushing and keep going is you don't let anybody stop you from your goals. You know, you continue to allow your cup to be filled and to just continue to move forward and just to continue to stay focused on what you want every single day. Work on something for you every day whether you're writing a book, whether you're exercising, um, whether you're going to get a massage or, you know, stuff like that is so important. Um, and we're, we get so used to taking care of others, taking care of our significant others, our spouses, our kids, and we forget to take care of ourselves. So that would be my message is to, number one, um, self-care and to just, you know, like I said, continue to stay focused on your goals and you, you, nothing will be stopping you from there. Okay, what is your message to the youth? Wow, the youth. My message to the youth. Um, I actually, I I actually wanted to actually say two separate messages because I have a son and I have a daughter, and I have a lot of youth that I mentor. And okay. my message to the youth for the for my young girls would be to really have a mentor in your life that you can actually look up to to stay focused, you know, um, love yourself and don't feel like you have to be validated by a man or by a boy um, to, to love yourself the way that you are and to find, you know, a young queen that you can relate to. And then my message for my boys are to not get so wrapped up in the phone and get wrapped up in TV and the games and stuff but to just take a little bit of time out of your day to, you know, make yourself intrigued by reading, by writing, you know, um, and just by staying focused on in school. You know, I know it's hard right now, and I know that this is a different atmosphere for them with the virtual school, but my message to them is to just remember the light at the end of the tunnel is you graduating, you know, the light at the end, end of the tunnel is you go into the next grade, whether you're going in the classroom or virtual. And so um, that, that would be my message to the youth. Okay. I love it. I love that you broke it down for the boys and the girls. I really love what you done for the queens too. But as you know, it is time for the motivational prayer. These motivational yeah. prayers, I love doing them because I know if I keep on praying for y'all, y'all keep on praying for me, man, we're going to keep on getting blessed. So what I'm going to do right now since Miss Crystal, you are on my platform right now. You know you are a big, big, big supporter of the Queen series. I want you to go first. I want you to give them your prayer after you say Amen. I'm gonna give them a prayer, and then we're gonna roll through the video. 
Yes. All right. So our, all hearts and our minds are clear. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for this day. Um, Lord, I just thank you for Cal. I lift him up to you. And um, I just thank you, God, for the movement. And I ask that you bless him and that you bless his family, God, and his children. And God, I just thank you for this movement. God, I just thank you for the vision. And God, we just ask that right now that you cover each and every person that's involved with this process, involved with the videos, God. And God, that you allow us to push forward despite all obstacles, God, um, knowing that things may not always happen how we want them to happen, but God, we know that you are in control. And so um, knowing that you are in control, God, and that you um, are the author and finisher of our faith, God, we just lift, give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God, thank you for everything you're doing in our life. Thank you for Crystal being able to step on this platform. No matter what is happening right now in her life or what she's got moving forward, God, she took out the time to be able to talk to these queens right now and to talk to the kings and to talk to the little prince and princesses right now. God, I thank you for everything she's doing in her life, getting people motivated with fitness and just moving forward in their life. God, keep on blessing her family. Keep on blessing the friends. Anybody that comes inside of Crystal's realm, I want you to keep everything just positive and motivational. God, to every queen that stepped on this platform. God, thank you for everything you're doing in their life. Thank you for having them to have a message to give everybody in their life. God, thank you for using my voice and my vision to be able to come together and be able to just show people, God, the queens have something to say, the kings have something to say, and fitness and life is important. Amen. Amen. So now, before we keep on going, I'll do my little miss, Mr. Um, Miyagi. Gotta go like this. <laughs> I want to say thank you to everybody that's supporting this King series, this Queen series, the fitness series coming, the networking series coming. We have a lot of stuff coming. Y'all supporting a lot of things. I want to get y'all to get y'all self out of the back. Clap for y'all. So, y'all have been doing amazing. Thank y'all so much. From the bottom of my heart, every time when I see y'all comments or oh, y'all see a share, and you never know. You might comment, one of these queens might comment straight back to you because, trust me, I watch everything, they watch everything too. I don't want y'all always to keep on supporting these queens on IG, their website, everything that got moving forward, keep on doing it. But thank y'all for just watching and keep on doing everything y'all doing. But Miss Crystal, right now, it's time for you to give out all your social media. I want you to give out your Facebook, your Instagram, your website, everything you have. Let them know everything so they can be able to get in touch with you and support your business and your growth. Definitely. So uh, first, I want to just say, Cal, thank you so much again for um, allowing me to be on this platform. But my Facebook is um, Crystal Wilson. My, uh, my Facebook business page is CW Fit for my fitness um, business. Fitness website, www.cwfitnessllc.com. My um, page for my ebook, um, if you need help with writing your book, it's epmovement.com. And on Instagram, I'm Crystal Wilson Fitness. And then for, for the entrepreneurs, for the writing, is um, EP Movement 2021. And I want to let y'all know, out of everything she said, the only thing you got to do is go to the description below to see everything. And remember, once you go on Instagram, you go everywhere, you know, support that queen. This queen right here is doing something for all of y'all. These queens, all these queens have something to give y'all. And one thing I love about everything with this queen, say, I love about you, I love about Octavia, I love about Queen, Coach Cece, all y'all. Because all of y'all are talking the same language, but y'all doing certain, certain mm -hmm. different type of things in your life, but y'all are here to do something for the queens. So I really support y'all for that. Like I said, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe to everything she's doing, everything that's coming forward. You're going to see this queen... Again, I promise you, just not the last time saying it on this right here. Right now, I want you to do something. I want you to give everybody a motivational thought of the day. Mm, that's interesting. Motivational thought of today. So my motivational thought of today is don't allow people or things to throw you off track. Don't allow people or things to throw you off track. And what I mean by that is if you have a bad day um, at work or in your entrepreneurial journey, you know, 
brush forward and just keep it moving. That goes back to what I said about just staying focused. You know, you'll find yourself so much happier when you stay focused on your goals and when you know what you're working towards it's so easy to wake up and be happy. And so that's my motivational thought for today. Do not allow anyone, you know, I always say my favorite Jay-Z song, brush that dirt off your shoulder and just keep it, keep it moving. And so <laughs> that's my thought, motivational thought. What well, I'm going to tell y'all this right here, keep on being strong. Keep your vision strong. People might not believe in your vision. They might not see your growth. But as long as you love the man or the woman in the mirror, you see a king in yourself, you see a queen in yourself. Keep on being motivational. Keep on being inspired. Keep on being wired for life. Keep on just being you. You are beautifully made. You can take care and you can do anything you want to do in your life. But it all starts with you. Put the prayer with the work and watch you take off like an eagle. Hey, I love y'all so much, man. I'm going to let Miss Crystal in this video. Miss Chris, the only thing I need you to do, I, I need you to kill him with a smile, and I need you to say bye to him. You done done an amazing job. Go ahead. Bye. <laughs> See y'all later.